Hi, welcome to the channel Tour Rational. I'm Pranay Sharma, and in this series of videos, we are going to learn the basics of R programming using R Studio. In this video, we are going to learn how to download and install the R programming as well as R Studio and see the layout of it. Let's get started. So the first thing we are going to do is Google search R Studio. So I have R Studio download and so the first website that is POSIT that is the original website of R Studio we are going to click on this R Studio desktop. Here they have shown us how to install R as well as R Studio. So we'll go down. First one is install R. We'll download and install R. On this page, you have option of downloading according to your operating system. You may be using Linux, you may be using Mac OS or you may be using Windows. I'm using Windows. So I will click on download R for Windows. Now I will click on install R for the first time. And now here we have download R for Windows. As soon as I click on this, my download will start. Now I'll also download R Studio. I'll go back to that POSIT website. Now here, if you are using Windows, you can directly click on download uh, R Studio desktop for Windows. But if you're using Mac OS, if you go down here, you have the option for Mac OS. You have Ubuntu, Debian, you have Fedora, Red X, uh, Red Hat and other options as well. I'm using Windows, so I'll just click on this and the download has started. After the download is complete, you will have these two files. First, we are going to run the rwin, okay, this file. And later on, we are going to run the rstudio. So first, we are installing r. You can go on installing. So I'm just clicking next. Accept defaults, that is fine. And you can install R. After we are done, I'll finish this and go to the R Studio and install R Studio. Again, I don't have to do anything special, just click next and next till it installs. After the installation is complete, now you can run R Studio. We are not going to run the R programming, but we are going to run R Studio. So when I have to run, I will in my start, if I just start search R Studio, you will see R Studio. This is the symbol for R Studio and click on it. And this is how you will see the R Studio open. There are four different sections. If you are seeing only three, mm -hmm. if you're not seeing this section, then all you have to do is you can see here plus sign, plus and click R script. So you have four different sections. So in this top left section, we are going to write all our codes. So let's say I write 25 plus 5. And when I run it, to run any code, I'll press Control Enter. Control and Enter. It runs the line. Down here, you can see 25 plus 5. And I'm getting the answer as 30. So all the codes will be executed down here. This is called as console. We are not worried about this terminal and background jobs. We are only worried of this console here. Next, on the top right, you will see a global environment. Here we are going to see any value that has been stored by us or while writing codes. Any data that has been stored will be shown here. Then this is the fourth section where we are going to see any plots that we make or if we need help, here we have help. If you want to install any packages, here we have packages. There are a lot of things that we can do here, but we are going to mostly see plots and help. You can rearrange all of these sections using these bars. You can rearrange and make as much space as you want. Let's talk a little bit about R programming. R programming is a programming language 
that is called as an emulator there are two types simulator as well as emulator simulator is where you write all of the codes and run all of the codes together but when we talk about an emulator like like our programming we write codes line by line and execute them line by line only that is why when i am writing one line 32 minus 25 and then press control enter it is running one single line of the code i don't it might not be the complete code for the whole package or for the whole software but it will run it always line by line even if i select all the codes that i have written and then run control enter it will run it line by line first it will run 25 plus 5 that gives me 30 and then 32 minus 25 that gives me 7. So our programming is an emulator that means the codes will run line by line. Now whenever you are writing any type of codes or any type of program you should always use comments. Now for our programming we write comments using hashtag. So whenever a comment is started we write hashtag and then whatever I write is going to be treated as a comment that means it is not a code now why is comment very important because whenever i write a code and i want to explain it to myself or somebody else what did i actually do it is always helpful to use comments so throughout learning this course we are going to use comments a lot so that we keep track of what we are actually doing this help section down here is also very important because Whenever we are confused about any codes, you can search here and check what is written about it. It gives you information about any type of functions or any type of codes that are pre-built in our studio. That's it for this video. In the next one, we are going to see our basic arithmetics as well as writing objects in our programming using RStudio. I'll see you in the next one.